right, let's do a um let's do a um let's do a um let's do a, a channel message let's do a channel message let's do a channel message i haven't used this deck today i haven't used this deck in a couple of days really i mean i think i used it yesterday but not really for channeling and this is the very first deck i ever got so collective people out there y'all let's go ahead and let's take a peeksy poo at what's coming in for you you this is on a collective like mass level and i see like deceptions i talked about this yesterday so we're not gonna go back into the reparation thing because reparations is what came out yesterday but something to do with like i do feel like it's almost like reparations too because once reparations goes through then it's going to be like it's going to be a trickle effect because you know uh women were oppressed and i'm not just saying black women or indian women or just whatever i'm talking about even white women were oppressed at one point uh i remember the first time i went to south carolina like the first couple of days i was there this man he was a black man he said you know when um back in them days there was two slaves he said it was niggas and then there was the white woman because the white woman was a slave she wasn't able to do none of that i don't think women white women Women in general, but definitely not, not white women. They didn't get their voting rights until what, like the twenties? They had to do all that suffrage ass uh, BS where all the all the lesbians were. All the lesbians were trying to get their equal rights, uh, or what they called them lesbians. Um, and so, you know, even even they were oppressed to a certain degree. You know, even white women make less money than uh, their male counterparts, white male counterparts. And this is not just to say that we're trying to get because once you get equal rights for everybody then everybody's going to be happy. There's no reason to be upset because we're all being treated fairly. And so, you know, again, that's what reparations is going to do. And people are going to start to go out there and say, oh, well, I was a white woman, but I was oppressed too. But you can't be mad about that, especially if you're a minority. Minority people out there, you know, because at the end of the day, if you start saying things like how Black Twitter be saying it, I can't stand Black Twitter, by the way. But if you start acting like Black Twitter's acting, when you're saying like, oh, well, if you're white, sit this one out. Like, no, if they're white, they're going to be able to become an ally, whether they think that that's what they're doing or not. If they're, if, even if that's not what they're intending to do by their actions, you know, the good guy always wins. You know, the people that are out there, meek, humble, and kind, they always win. And so I feel like that's what's going to end up happening. Like, people are going to say, oh, well, California, because there was a story out yesterday about how California black people are getting uh, reparations. And so it's like almost like that idea of, oh, well, now that they're getting reparations, like I want my equal pay. I want my my voting rights. I want to be reimbursed for all the time that the patriarchy screwed me over. And then, okay, well, let them get the, let them get the equal rights. Because by that point, that means that we can double down on the fact that, especially if, you, if you're a minority seeking reparations, that, okay, well, yeah, you gave it to, you gave it to them. You gave it to them. So I want to know what you're going to do for me. Because at the end of the day, there's no reason that you should go into a, a work environment unless you got more expertise in a certain field. There's no reason that somebody should be paid for you when paid more than you when you guys are equal. That just shows that's, you know, you get it. That's that's crazy. That's crazy talk. It's asinine. But again, I feel like it's one of those things that's going to come out because I think it's going to cause a lot of uh, uh, dissension with the people. 2022 is a year of love, but it's also a year of dissension. And so when you really kind of like fight for what you love, it can't like, again, with the whole... I don't condone what Will Smith did to Chris Rock. I think it was cowardly, but he used his idea of what he of what love is to him to justify the fact that he slapped him, slapped this man. Okay, and so and this is going to sound like it doesn't really make sense, but at the end days, the end days say that there's going to be a false, a false equivalency to God, a false uh, returning of Christ before the true Christ comes back. And so if you think about it in terms of like, even with like Will Smith, his idea that, oh, this is love. So I slap somebody. If God is love, that's almost like a false, that's a false equivalency. So he's, he's a, an antichrist by doing something like that, because that's antichrist like to go out there and slap your neighbor. Cause Christ said, if, if you turn the other cheek, cause at the end of the day, if he's, if Chris Rock is the one that turned the other cheek, he's the true embodiment of what Christ means. He didn't retaliate. He didn't go up there and like, uh, start tackling that man. He didn't do any of that. And so people are like applauding Will Smith as if he is the in the right in that situation. And honestly, again, that's antichrist like. And so we are actually living in the last days. And people think the last days is like, oh, there's going to be hell and brimstone and fire and all that. But global warming, what do you think that is? I mean, I'm not trying to say the world is going to end, but I'm trying to say that the world is ending. It's not going to end. It's already about to. And so people are thinking of it in terms of like, oh, we're all going to die. We're all going to. No, y'all are just going to send to a place to where you know that love and light means that that you just love your neighbor. Because once you're kind of like not worried about them and you're treating everybody equally, then that's when God will really come back into the world. That's when peace and love will come back into the world. And so even if you think about it in terms of like the whole, I don't really want to bring government into it because people already have all these weird conspiracy theories about the government. But 
The government is a, is a series of people that make up an entity. It's not like the government is some elusive <laughs> this elusive tingle web of one person working together because that's not the, really the way it works it's just a bunch of people that some people love themselves and some people don't love anybody you know people might say republicans don't love themselves but it doesn't matter your political party or your affiliation if you just don't have any love in your heart then you gonna, you gonna screw everybody over and so i feel like that's where we at right now like we're in this place where the good guys are losing maybe the bad guys winning and so but i feel like again um i feel like honestly things are about to change things are really about to change because first of all we live in a digital age anyway where everything's caught on camera it just came out today that jada pinkett smith was like laughing at chris rock after her belligerent fucking barbaric husband went up there and slapped the taste out of his mouth and so jada pinkett smith is like laughing at that but she's portraying herself as a victim uh, will smith is portraying themselves as victims but in a victim mentality at the same time especially if you're of love and light you're not going to go up there and try to hit somebody for saying something about you you're, you're just really not you're just really not. And you're not going to laugh that your husband's up there assaulting somebody because you don't want to see anybody getting hurt. Because if you love yourself, you love everybody, which is a clear indication to me that Jada Pinkett Smith don't love herself. But again, y'all don't really like listening to them kind of messages. I mean, I did a Will Smith reading anyway. Y'all can watch it and see what I predicted about that situation. And I told y'all... Uh, six months ago eight months ago nine months ago that jada pinkett smith was going to be the the downfall of her family but again it's not jada pinkett smith that's doing it it's the devil it's the devil doing it you know it's the, the devil's doing it to her ass it's doing it to their family and so i think that for a collective we are all collectively coming out of this dark night of the soul and a dark night of the soul anyway is meant to kind of like show you the true side of yourself but also like the true side of like society the world in general i just talked about my own kundalini awakening you guys can watch that video too i'll put a clip down below but you know you you're awakening as a collective this is not just you f you know for play play this is for 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 life this is for life this is for what you're doing for um for the rest of your life how to make the world a better place this is you making the world better for your ancestors and clearing up all those generational curses and woundings and all of that and so as a collective though i think that we're coming out of that illusion that i think we're coming out of an illusion that though that this macho machismo you know acting like you're doing it out of love and that you're so christ-like you're coming at we're coming out of that illusion that that's really the right way to do it you know we just watched goddamn hitch slap the taste that or no we, we watched genie from aladdin slap the taste out of osmosis jones's mouth because of something he said about his bald-headed ass wife and his wife's been bald-headed for long enough to have been able to take a joke and if you can't take a joke then approach him afterwards but you don't just go up there and belligerently slap a man in front of the whole entire world because that's not love. That really isn't love. That's, yeah, you might do it because you love your wife. But if you love your wife and you love yourself equally, you will love Chris just as equally as you love all those other people. And so, you know, again, that's the idea that... That's the idea that there's like that uh, that false equivalency to what Christ is, that false equivalency to what love is, because that's not love. You know, I'm going to end this kind of early because I don't really want to go too deep off into that, but I hope that you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe. If you agree with it, definitely share it.